your girl and today we are going to cook guess what some stuff manicotti so this is my big confession my first time cooking it babe never had it before i don't even think the kids had it before you know maybe you cooked this before well we are on this journey together so i was in walmart getting some lasagna and i saw this i was like hmm this would be good for the magazine this would be good you know, so today we're going to make stuffed spinach and ricotta cheese manicotti. You know, I don't really eat a lot of meat if I don't have to. So I'm trying to get babe to eat less meat <laughs> and it's working. So uh, let's open this up. I don't know how many tube-like things come in here. So let's just figure this out together. Um, so this is how it looks when you open up the box. And oh, it has two rolls. So this is going to be fun. This is going to be interesting all right so yeah we have two trays of these so this is the manicotti all right so i'm going to show you everything i have before we prepare so you just follow the instructions on the box you boil some water you salt it and let's do that right now let's go ahead and cut the water on and i got a big pot of water on here so i'm gonna cut it on and i'm gonna get my salt and just salt my water and let all right so I'm, I'm gonna let that pull so in the meanwhile I'm gonna go ahead and get the stuffing together while that's cooking okay so you get your ricotta cheese so just kind of open that and I gotta get like a fork to open this oh, no, never mind so just kind of pour it in a mixing bowl, your cheese, perfect. Then you want to take your spinach, alright, let's open this up. I use spinach for everything, I love it in my omelets, and I got bake on omelets, so. Alright, so you get a bag of frozen spinach. You know, you can thaw it and just drain it. A lot of pour it in there. It's gonna be good. It's gonna come together. It's a lot of spinach, but it's gonna be good. <laughs> All right. So get some garlic powder. Put it in there. And open this, y'all. All right. So put some garlic powder in there. So I can have some kind of seasoning inside. And this is my secret recipe. It makes everything I cook pop. Red crushed pepper flakes. All right, I'm just put some in there. It's gonna be yummy in our mouths. Then you get one egg. All right, so I'm gonna Go ahead and crack my egg. And now I gotta have fun, y'all. And I got to mix everything together. So let me go ahead and get a big mixing spoon and just mix everything together. So let's go ahead and put our manicotti in the hot water. So we're gonna go ahead and put you know one pack in and then we're gonna grab the other pack. And these only gotta cook for about maybe eight minutes. really excited to, to try this I'm looking forward to trying new foods you know with my family All right so about eight minutes and it should be like fork tender or you know this little tender 
and then um, yeah we'll put the stuffing in and rinsed off the manicotti now this pasta is very delicate so uh, some of them did tear a little bit but not all of them but it's still, gonna, it's still going to come out delicious so what we want to do is just before I start stuffing the manicotti with our spinach uh, mixture and ricotta just put a little sauce in the pan you know, it's kind of just put a little sauce in the pan so we can lay, lay down the manicotti on there yeah or just a little sauce all right and this is tomato garlic and onion pasta sauce you know my you know walmart brand which is good so it's kind of just layered down it doesn't have to be fancy all right so i got a spoon just in case so i'm going to take you know our mixture and i'm just going to take a manicotti and let me show you one that's not tore and we're on this together so we'll just kind of stuff it inside you know it's gonna be fun y'all should be good i pray baby likes this i'm trying to get him to try new stuff so yeah but it's going really see it's going in there so easy all right just kind of stuff it in there as much as that want to go in there it's a lot of filling so yeah we we're like almost halfway in there so we're going to keep on doing this until we get our pan layered. Right. So it's going in there. Good. See? It's looking good, y'all. And some of it's falling off the other side. <laughs> yeah. You just stuff it the best way you can. Some people use, uh, you know, like a the icing thing that chefs use but if you don't have that you gotta use what you got you know I even see some people take sandwich bags and put the stuffing in there and um, cut a hole on the corner to stuff with okay so this is this is gonna be so good so I just kind of lay it down in the pan and we will do some more like that I think this will be a really good uh, you know entree tonight we're gonna make salad with this I'm gonna cut up some romaine hearts and make some Texas toast so that's gonna be good And we're going to have a 
little delicious meal together. the manicotti 350 for 30 minutes I wrapped it up with foil so it looks really good so I'm getting ready to uh, come in this and put one on the plate this really looks really good so I have my manicotti first time trying it so it been baking for about 30 minutes I was about to cut in it and see how it tastes and it tastes good it has a good flavor I think babe would like this so I'm getting ready to bake my garlic bread and chop up a little salad and then I'm going to call my family for lunch. Ah!